I've been working a ton of different questions of the day lately that involve these, um, this idea of a function. So here's another one. And just to let you know, this particular problem is very GED typical. I've seen it on a lot of different versions of the practice tests, and I've had students who've reported to me that they've had problems like this on their actual test quite a bit. So let's take a look. Use any of the following numbers, any of these numbers here, to complete the table. We're completing this table over here. You can notice it has some blanks. Uh, but we, we're not just filling it in. We want to do something so that the relationship described re represents a function, that the relationship described represents a function. In order to do this, you have to know the definition of the word function. Remember that a function is a relationship in which each input value, each x, is mapped to one and only one y value, one output value. So right now, currently, this is a function right here. I have a one and it's mapped to two, a two and it's mapped to three, a three and it's mapped to four, a four and it's mapped to five. Never do I have the same x seeing more than one y. And so what's really important is that I maintain this relationship. So I already have a one, I already have a two, I already have a three and I already have a four. Do not repeat one of those numbers in the x column. That's the main thing here to make this a function. The only number I've already used a one, a two, a three, and a four. The only number I can use for x is five. Now you might say, but what should I use for y? What's the right answer for five? A lot of students think it has to be six, like they have to follow this pattern, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, it actually doesn't matter. It's not about a pattern with a function. It's just about not repeating an x. So you could actually use any of these numbers for the y and you'd be right. And don't bother to ask me, Kate, which the right is the right one? They're all of them the right one. You could use any one of these and still be right. The important thing here with a function was to make sure you chose your x uh, correctly. So as far as I'm concerned, you could fill this box in with a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, or a 5. It would not matter. You'd still be right. I'll choose randomly. How about I just do a 4 because I like the sound of it. <laughs> okay. Don't worry about repeating in the y value, in the y column. That's not what's important. It's all about the x's when it comes to functions.